All right, well, there's our GTX 480 on the test bench, and our total score in 3D Mark Vantage is 23,000 3D Mark. So you can see that the 460 Hawk, with its uh, fairly outstanding overclocking performance, uh, my understanding actually, based on uh, talking to a couple others who have sample cards and uh, to the team at MSI is that mine actually was a, a subpar overclocker for a Hawk. So this is kind of a, a worst case scenario, but uh, even then we're able to get within spitting distance of a stock GTX 480. And the difference in price is probably the most interesting part because, uh, here, hold on, I got a bunch of stuff on my screen that probably there's no need to uh, show to the entire YouTube audience. 480. By the way, for everyone who keeps complaining that I'm not running Windows 7, I am now running Windows 7 on my work machine. Uh, I don't know why that was so important, but uh, I get all these comments every time I show something on my work computer and, no, oh, he's not running Windows 7. Why isn't he running Windows 7? Well, now I am. Okay, so 549.99 for a 480. And for a 460 Hawk, wait for it, bam, 269.99. So, I mean, yeah, if you can afford a 480, you know what? Yes, it does perform better. Yes, it will continue to overclock past what we were able to achieve with a 460. Remember, that's like maxed out. But you can't really argue with the value of something like uh, a Hawk Edition card. So anyway, I thought that was a pretty cool demonstration. And uh, thank you for checking out my video blog. Don't forget to subscribe. And that was GTX 460 Hawk versus GTX 480 not Hawk.